Hi everyone, Jay here from OpenText and in part one of our video series on the OpenText content server integration for Core, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your very own private tenant of OpenText Core. It's a simple but important part of creating that collaborative environment that synchronizes content between the OpenText cloud and your content server environment via OpenText Core. So just head to core.opentext.com, go ahead and click on sign up and you'll see a variety of tiers here, but it's very important that you select the enterprise tier uh, because that's how you need the integration uh, to work. It's a free trial for 90 days and you can extend it uh, after that trial by subscribing. Just talk to OpenText or your OpenText account executive or give us a call at OpenText and someone will walk you through and get you all set up. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-populate some information into the sign up form here that you see for the enterprise tier that we require and let's get going now you see here i've entered the information required i've set up an account for our friend arlene kite at the arlene kite agency i've named the open text core tenant provided an administrator email address set a password and confirmed it and then i've added just 10 users you can always increase that later or uh, at a later time, you can increase that, that number. I'm going to go ahead and create the account. You can review the terms of service or upon creating the account, you're going to get a summary, basically assuring you that we at OpenText Core take the privacy of information, personal and business content wise, very, very seriously. You can go ahead and click on accept. And that's going to bring Arlene back to a confirmation page that thanks her for registering. In the meantime, she will receive an email notification at the email address used to set up the account. It is right there. She'll go ahead and confirm that account. Be brought back to OpenText Core to sign in using that administrator email and the password that Arlene set or that I set for Arlene. And we'll go ahead and sign in. So moving forward, it's also important to know, we'll get a thanks for authenticating and confirming our account. It'll be a completely blank account. You can go ahead and take the tutorial if you want, but really what we want to focus on is that area to the left called admin. Now you can see there's a variety of options here. There's, they're covered off on our YouTube channel. There's the link at the end of this video for that YouTube channel. But right now we'll show you that the uh, tenant of OpenText Core that was set up is completely blank. First step is going to be to add some users. There's a couple of different ways to do that. If you're just testing out the integration for Content Server and you want to do that with a few people, you can go ahead and create them individually. They'll receive invitations to Core. Uh, it's a very, very simple process. Or if you want more users or just to do it in batch, you can go ahead and create a CSV following the example layout or the format that's listed above and select that file from your desktop. Again, uh, a fairly simple and straightforward format using the email, first name, last name. Uh, if you want to uh, pre-configure those accounts, very straightforward uh, using a CSV. But again, if you're just adding a few users for testing purposes of the content server integration, you can go ahead and add them individually. They'll receive notifications in their inbox to confirm. So the last thing I want to show you, and again, there's a variety of things like metadata and uh, single sign-on and so forth, but I want to show you the security panel where you're going to want to set up your policies uh, for password, two-factor authentication, a variety of other things. If your organization uses Microsoft Office Online, you can enable that to edit documents, um, share those back and forth with Content Server. And right here in part two of our video series, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually configure or connect, uh, build a trusted and secure relationship between Core and your Content Server environment. But the lessons we've learned here today are how easy it is to set up your OpenText Core tenant that's going to facilitate that collaborative environment that connects content server 
with the OpenText Cloud via OpenText Core. Again, our YouTube channel is right down there at the bottom. A lot of different videos that you can watch uh, from an administrator standpoint or an end user standpoint. It's going to help you out. Thanks a lot and see you in part two.